If you are ever curious as to what other people are searching and asking questions about, you can always go to google.com and start typing in some keywords. And just the other day, I typed in Trello how to and look at what came up at the very top of the list, how to delete a list, how to delete a card, how to delete a board. It looks like a lot of you are curious, not how to necessarily archive them, but how to get rid of them for good. So in today's video, I'm looking at all three of these things. How can we delete lists, cards and boards within Trello? Hello, everyone, Scott Friesen here at Simpletivity helping you to get more done and enjoy less stress. And here we have a sample board, sample board number two, actually, that I'm not afraid to delete at the end of this video. So of course, when it comes to Trello, there's basically three key terms that we need to know, boards, lists, and cards. So let's take a look at each of them in order to see how we can delete those items. So let's start at the smallest form, and that of course is a card. Here's a card I no longer need. So how do we go about and deleting this card? Well, you may be already familiar with archiving. You see that a lot within Trello, and I think it's a smart move. Maybe you made a mistake. Maybe you want to go back and still search for a card or information within the card. So we can hit archive here if we want. We can click on the card and of course near the bottom we have an archive button as well. Now as soon as we hit that button you will notice at the top it's telling us that this card is archived. Even in the background I can already see it's been removed from this list but there is a red delete button. So this is how we go about and permanently delete this card. So if I never want to see this card again, I can hit the delete button. It's going to ask me one time, am I absolutely sure? And then I can hit that delete button and it is gone for good. But why don't we look at another example there within the, in the card in case we want to uh, archive something and go look for it again. Because I know a lot of you are also wondering about that too. Where does it go exactly when I hit the archive button? So in this card, I'm going to hit archive as well. It's telling me that the card is archived. If I click out of here, actually maybe there's one more thing I'll, I'll say is that if you need to send it back, you can always hit this button here, send to board. But let's close this card and it's gone. And let's say, well, we do want to go back and retrieve it. Where do we go? Well, it is searchable if we want to search for it. But an easier way, I think, is to go into the show menu and number one, you can look at your activity. So here's the card that we just archived. It tells me that I archived it. I can select it here and now I'm right back in the card. I can hit send to board and I've brought it right back. There it is back in the list. But let me archive it once again and click out of here. So here it is in my activity feed, but there's another area which may be more useful to you and that is if you select the more option, you can select archived items. And here you can see, because this is a sample board, I only have one that I've archived at this point. Here I can see that card again. So I can click on it if I wanna look at the details or I can send it back to the board immediately or here's another way in which you can delete that card. In this example, I'm just gonna say send to board again and there we are back in, uh, in list number one. All right, so let's move on to lists. Now, of course, here's a list, let's say list number two, and let's say I no longer need it, but maybe I want the information within it, I can archive it. You'll see that there's no option here to delete. There is a difference between archiving all cards in this list and archiving this list, right? If I select this option, it's just gonna archive all of the cards. The list will remain the same. But if I select the last option, archive this list, it is gone, right? It's removed from this board. Now, it, what if I wanna go back and delete the list? Well, here's the catch. You can't actually delete lists. I'm gonna repeat that one more time. Deleting a list is not currently possible within Trello. However, if we do want to go back and resend that list or have that list reappear in this board, we can go back to our menu. We're back to archive. Let me just show you that one more time. Archived items. But you will notice that we need to select this link to switch to lists. And here is list number two. It's important that you notice the switch to cards. We don't have any archived cards at the moment and switch to lists. So now here is list number two. And my option is to send it back to the board. There it is. It's back on the board. But 
I can only archive this list. It's not actually possible to delete that list. So something that you learned hopefully as a part of today's video. All right, last but not least, let's take a look at deleting a board. And again, by default, Trello is going to encourage you, or at least as a first step, have you archive the board. So if we go back to menu and select more, we can come down here and say close board. Now closing the board is very much like archiving the board. If I select that, uh, I can reopen the board by clicking the board's menu from the header, selecting view, close board, finding the board, and clicking reopen, okay? So I'm gonna select close in this case. So it's telling me that it is closed. I can reopen it by this link here, but here is our option. If we want to permanently delete the board, if we never wanna go back and find those cards, look at those lists or rearrange anything, we can select permanently delete the board. One more warning. It's good, right? It's good to have a number of warnings. It's good to have red colors, red buttons to make sure we know what we're doing. But I can hit delete and now that one is gone. It's out of the way. So there you have it. How to delete a card, how to almost delete a list, and how to delete a board. I hope that you found today's video useful and I hope that you give this video a like and you subscribe right here to the Simpletivity channel. Remember, being productive does not need to be difficult. In fact, it's very simple.